Hey, right, I want to show you guys that even landing with with whatever weapon you start with, you can activate weapon AI as well. But let's get into the game pack. First slide is my Warzone game pack, so I'm gonna press and hold the left button back strike pack. Press the right pad at one time. Press the LED slot. First weapon profile light is green. Now I'm going to hold touchpad and R2 to activate weapon AI for this weapon. It's going to shoot, reload, shoot. Always make sure you have you know spare ammo and you know enough ammo, especially in the in the second clip and all that, so weapon AI can work correctly. Now if I ADS and shoot, this is a semi-automatic, so look, no recoil obviously. And, and it's going to apply rapid fire, so it's gonna do all that. Let's see if I can get a kill. Oh my god. I just wanna say one thing, do be advised that when dealing with weapon profiles, you know you have two. Green is the first on your primary, and then red is the secondary. So you pretty much have two different weapons with two different, completely yes, different values and stuff like that. But when activating weapon AI, Look at the you know the, the light bar your controller, green indicating the primary. So if you activate weapon AI, it's gonna take over that specific weapon profile. Then if it's right like this, and you activate weapon AI, it's gonna take over the secondary weapon profile. So whatever gun you activate weapon AI with, and then you plug in your strike pack back into the PC, you're gonna see in that slot, you're gonna see that weapon and those values that the weapon AI got for that for that um for that weapon for that profile. If that makes sense. I hope you guys are following along. Don't worry. At the end, I'll plug back in my strike pack so I can really show you guys exactly what it is I'm talking about. Now, let me just land somewhere random. I really just want to land somewhere random away from people just so I can get like a random gun. Actually, weapon AI and then you know, show you guys more of that. So pay attention. This is how you really go about, you know, using well, how I mainly go about using, you know, weapon AI whenever I feel like it. Let's say you drop in. First off, once you drop in, you're always going to want to activate weapon AI for the pistol. So hold touchpad R2. Now when you ain't to shoot, you're gonna have rapid fire, no recoil for the pistol. Let's say you, you just say you're running around, you find another weapon, let's say um okay M16. Good enough. Well oh, I got the M16 now. The same thing. Hold touch by the R2. It's going to shoot, reload, shoot. And now if I ADS and shoot, you see, it picked up the M16. Right? It apply rapid fire and and um zero recoil and all that. But then after I triangle. My second slot, right? Light is red. Now I will activate weapon AI again for the pistol for the secondary profile. So hold touch power two. Activating weapon profile. When we activate weapon AI, boom, it's gonna take over that weapon profile. Now if I get to shoot, I fire for the pistol. Press triangle. Weapon swap. Light is green. Eight to shoot. shoot. M16. Pretty dope, right? Pretty dope. Now, obviously, you guys already know what to do when you get your loadout. Let's say you get your loadout. You call your loadout. Now you 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 will hold touchpad, press L1, control vibrates, and then you go down, you know, up and down to select the loadout, and boom, you get to go. Let's say you want to turn off the the weapon AI altogether, like you want to just stop it. You want to go back to regular, no mods, just regular fire. You would hold touchpad and press square. See now the light is pink. That's pinkish, right? The control vibrated. Now if I get to shoot, you can see it's off. No no right fire, no mod, no anything. To go back to it, touchpad and triangle. That's it. You, you guys get the idea, right? That's how you go. So activate weapon AI. You hold touchpad R2, and then that's gonna take over the first weapon profile. If you're automatic or manual, for me, I'm automatic. So I press triangle, switch this to my secondary. I pick up another weapon. Same thing. Hold touchpad R2. It takes up that spot. And then I have two weapons. Every time you press triangle, what weapon AI? If you activate weapon AI, they activate it for both. Now I always explain this time and time again. Attachments do matter, you know, especially if the weapon has a suppressor and all that. Attachments give the weapon AI a hard time to pick up. So don't expect weapon AI to always work because it depends on what's on the weapon. It depends what kind of attachments are on that weapon. I mean, yeah, you can adjust the recoil of it, you know, ADS, R2, down and D-pass, like that. But, you know, why do that? It's a waste of time. While you're in Verdance, you could get killed easily. And <laughs> while you're there trying to freaking mess with the recoil, stuff like that. That's why I advise you when it comes to getting your values and, and adjusting your recoil, you want to move towards the loadouts. Like that, the loadouts, they they permanently save. Your loadouts permanently save. Let me, um, get this guy right here. Right. What are you talking bro? Where the hell you going, bro? What the hell? But anyway, yeah, you want to you want to lean towards the loadouts. That's why the loadout selector is the best because you can have, actually have a whole loadout you know, with a primary, secondary, and you you be good to go. You're already good to go. 
Hey right, guys, now I'm back in my past. I just want to show you guys what happened. So I'm going to the Warzone game pack. And as you can see, I activated the M16, the Cold War M16, and it replaced the weapon profiles. I showed you green. See, first weapon profile. It just replaced it. So I recognized it and applied it here. And then the X16, the starting pistol that I would start with, it recognized it and it put it here. You see what I mean? You can have, you know, weapon AI, you know, take up these two slots or whatever, no matter what gun you pick up. But then once you get your loadout, you come down to your loadout, your loadouts will be right here. See? Your loadouts will be right here. You can have whatever weapons you want here permanently saved with the values. You know, and they'll never change unless you get on here and manually change it yourself. So, you know, the, the weapon loadouts, I advise using them, you know, for like, you know, long term, like whatever setup you want, your over, overkill class setups, or whatever, or just, you know, simply just one primary weapon with your value for that specific gun, and you're good to go. And then leave these two always blank. Like I said, if you're getting it on here, you know, plug in a shot pack. Me, I always start with just regular fire, so I'll leave them both on regular fire. Sometimes I'll leave the secondary on rapid fire, but it really doesn't matter, because once you activate weapon AI, weapon AI is going to detect the weapon anyway. But I leave them both like this, regular fire, regular fire, and then I'm good to go. So that's it. Just again, be advised. Attachments matter. So if you pick up a gun off, you know, off the ground, a loot weapon, whatever, and it has attachments, you know, depending on like you know, rare, common, or bullshit, it is gonna. The, the more attachments, you know, the more is gonna be harder for the weapon AI to detect it. So just do be advised with that. But you're not gonna be using weapon AI forever for the whole entire game. The point is to get your loadout. You know, you know what I mean. All right. One thing I do wanna say, I decided to leave this towards the end. I don't know. I don't wanna leave this part out. But um, you guys, the reason the value was at 100 again, and I mentioned it before during this video, is because the M16 had no attachments as well as the pistol. If you pick up a weapon off the ground or find it in the box, whatever, if it's a little weapon off the ground and it doesn't have no attachments, you activate weapon AI, it's going to stay at the base at 100 value because it doesn't have any attachments. So its base is going based off the regular plain recoil of the weapon without no attachments. If the weapon has attachments and then you activate weapon AI, and then next time you plug your back in your strap back and see a PC, you're going to see the weapon that you last used weapon AI on. And you're going to see a different value number. You're going to see whatever here, you know, regardless of whatever attachments it has on it, the attachment is going to, you know, throw off the recoil. So the, the weapon AI is going to attempt to get, you know, a spot on value for it. it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work. Like I said, it, it's really hard when it comes to attachments and using the weapon AI and getting that perfect recoil. That's where their loadouts come in. That's where you adjusting the values yourself comes in. All right, Weapon AI is really just a temporary thing. You don't want to be depending on Weapon AI for everything to get you a dub because it's really you know, hard. Highly unlikely you're going to get a dub just by using you know, Weapon AI you know, on loot weapons. So I'm going to leave you guys here. This is going to help you out. You guys already know what to do. See you guys on the next video. Peace.